What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Finally getting this video out. This is an updated video on a video I did over a month ago. Today, we'll be going over the top five new features for Farming Simulator 25. I'm gonna remind you, before we even get started, these are my top five features, and yours actually could be different. Which, in saying that, let me know in the comments, what is your top new features for Farming Simulator 25? Also going to put this out there that this list could change again because Giants, of course, could release more new features before Farming Simulator 25 release. At the time of recording, we have 56 days till that release. So less than two months. If you're watching this video and you're interested in pre-ordering it for PC, the link to that is down in the description. It goes through Giants themselves. So that means usually you will be one of the first to play the game, get updates and of course DLC. Now, if you're on PlayStation or Xbox, you can pre-order it in those stores on your console. Now, before we get started, don't forget to smash that like button. It helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you like videos like this. Also, if you're new to the channel and would like to stay updated on everything Farming Simulator, don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Well, enjoy the video. Here are my top five new features for Farming Simulator 25. Enjoy. I'm gonna quit my job. Never wanna have no boss. I just wanna play Number five would have to be, of course, the new crops in the new farming simulator. This is probably the most new crops we've actually got in a brand new farming simulator. We have two types of rice. We have regular rice and we also have long grain rice, which we can actually use a regular harvester. We have spinach, we have peas, and even though it hasn't been, well, it's been a little bit announced, but we haven't gone into more detail on it. It is green beans. So that is what? One, two, three, four, five, five new crops. Or if you just count rice as one, that would be four new crops. With the rice, you can either do it two different ways. Of course, you can do it the Asian method, which of course you can actually grow your seeds in a greenhouse, then put them into your cedar, which is a specialized cedar, and plant it and flood the fields. And then of course you use a special harvester for it. Or on the American side, we can actually use a regular planter, then you flood your fields, and then you can use a combine to get long grain rice. And the second crop is spinach, of course. Spring and summer are spinach seasons. In March and April, you'll take your cedar and put out about 10 liters of seed per hectare acre to look forward to a yield of about 23,100 liters in return. With an average selling price of 660 per thousand liters, you need to be ready to harvest in June. Mind that you need a specialized harvester here, the Oxbow MKB4TR. And this you can actually harvest twice in a year. And then the newest announced crop is peas. In March or April, you'll take your seeder and put out about 250 liters of seed per hectare acre to look forward to a yield of about 9,600 liters in return. With an average selling price of about 3,119 per thousand acres, of course, depending on the difficulty you play on the game, you'll need to be ready to harvest in July and September at the latest. In this, you will actually need a specialized pea harvester. Uh, you will need the Oxbow EPD540E. It is a self-propelled pea harvester, and it's actually pretty fun to operate. And the last crop, of course, is green beans, but they haven't actually, you know, talked about that. Hopefully, we will talk about that later on in the future. So. We have rice, we have spinach, we have peas, and we have green beans. So really looking forward to those on Farming Simulator 25. Now, number four would have to be, of course, the new maps on Farming Simulator 25. Of course, we know about Riverbend Springs. We also have an Asian map, which I don't think they've said the name of that one. And then Erlingrad, which was from the premium DLC. So we're going to be going over what we know, which is, of course, Riverburn Springs, which I will, of course, be playing on that first. So are you ready to build a new farm in Riverburn Springs? So with Riverburn Springs, you don't have to ask where the name comes from when you look at the map of Riverburn Springs. A huge winding river, lots of water and many little creeks and streams in between. A ferry, too, which is actually operational. If you're wondering how to get across the river, crossing with the ferry fit your machine is an option. Uh, it's all about water and they wanted to actually celebrate that. That's why you'll actually find piers, jetties, houseboats, restaurants floating on the river and many more elements of Riverbend Springs to go along with the theme of the map. Perfect fit for adding rice and water physics, which we'll talk about water physics in a little bit. In Riverbend Springs, you'll come across some historic buildings and some other elements of times gone by. The old grain elevator, a paper mill at the river, or brick buildings, how they were built 100 years ago, for example. 
So buildings aren't going to look just brand new. They're going to have some historic value actually to the map. There are many nice spots in Riverbend Springs you might actually want to visit. Who knows what or who you'll get to see when exploring. There are construction sites, businesses buying your goods, and more. So I am actually looking really, really forward to actually the new maps on Farming Simulator 25. Number three would have to be the 400 pieces of machines that's going to be coming. So over 400 authentic machines and items from more than 150 international top brands like Case IH, Kloss, Fenn, John Deere, Kubota, Mossy Ferguson, New Holland, and Vulture, and many more allow you to engage in agriculture, forestry, and animal husbandry. Whether you build your legacy single-handedly or cooperatively in multiplayer, you decide. And uh, we've seen JNM, we've seen Aqua White Tractor, uh, we've seen international trucks. There is a lot that's going to be included with this game, and I'm excited to see these actually in the game. So my number three would have to be all the new brands and the brands that are returning to Farming Simulator 25. Number two is going to be the improved AI. I'm pretty sure all of you guys had to deal with this with FS19, FS22. You start up your AI worker and guess what? He runs into a tree. He gets into a ditch. He hits a car, something like that. Well, in FS25, it has been majorly improved. For one, it actually has kind of like a course play on there. If you're coming from PC, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, course play, an amazing mod on FS22. But anyways, as soon as you hit that field, it will actually auto detect the easiest way to work it. So you turn it on and it will easily go ahead and do that. Also coming with this is GPS, Global Positioning System. So you can do those straight lines. You don't have to worry about overlapping just in case you miss some like I usually do because I don't know how many people actually call me out on this, but uh, I overlap a lot when I play Farming Simulator 25. Well, 22, sorry. Uh, this is definitely going to fix that overlapping issue I have on FS22. So with course play and GPS in the game, AI is definitely going to be taken to another level. I'm also wondering what modders are going to be able to actually do with this, if they're going to be able to mod this a little bit or anything like that. I also will say, because a lot of people have asked me, like, what happens when you, you know, make your own fields or stuff like that? It will automatically detect the easiest ways to actually get it done. So it auto detects it as soon as it, uh, as soon as you step a foot on that field. And my number one would have to be, of course, Giants Engine 10. Feel a deeper connection to your fields and nature thanks to a general tech upgrade, which improved graphics and physics based on the latest and modding friendly Giants Engine 10, including distance fog, enhanced shadows, dynamic weather effects, ground deformation, and more. The romantic life of virtual farming gets more immersive and atmospheric. Which of course you can see this in this video right here, the water actually moving with the tractor. It even does that when you're outside the tractor and you're moving with your person. And we also got confirmation that third person view will actually be in the game. So you can do either first person or third person. If you don't know what third person view is, it's pretty much like a camera looking behind you instead of, you know, you looking out of your eyes. Uh, so that's going to be nice right there. And then we've also seen, you know, like water hitting the tractor and staying on the tractor puddles on the ground. Uh, I mean, the rain actually hitting the ground. Um, I haven't seen actually what it looks like, like when you're inside the tractor and when it hits the windshield, but I'm pretty sure it's going to look really good. And then everybody has seen all the fog in the game. Uh, they've been really, really showcasing that. Plus the God rays and the nighttime lighting with the stars in the sky, the moon and everything. It's going to change the game completely. But anyways, these are my top five. What is your top five? Let me know down in the comment section below. Like always, if you guys did enjoy this video, a like would be appreciated. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.